Welcome everybody back to Just Plain Crazy. I am Brendan. Thanks for joining me for another episode again down in the lair. And boy, do we have something cool for you in these boxes. So what is it? What did I tease about on Facebook with the prior picture? Let's get into it. Box number one, I'm going to set there too. We're going to put it on the floor. So over the years that I've been doing this, there's a lot of different companies that reach out to me for collaborations. Some we do, some we don't. This one is near and dear to my heart. And as soon as I learned about this, saw it, explored it, I had to jump in because it's got a personal connection for me. And the reason that it does um, is because it involves our hands, our minds, it involves you, it involves our youth, it's important to our everyday world and society. So what is it? So this company is uh, called Sterling Kits. So sterlingkits.com, uh, you can go right to their webpage or Google them. They have so many cool things. Working four strokes, steam engines, hit and miss stuff, turbo fan, jet engines. This is just plain crazy. So with that being said, um, go ahead and just go to Google and Google Sterling Kits and you'll see such a huge variety of different projects that you can get involved in, that you can get your kids involved in, get the youth involved in, get them off of this, get them to start using these with this thing up here. So in this box, as we open it, this is a TR900 turbo fan from Sterling Kits. Um, we have a different already assembled model version in the other box. We'll show that later, but this one is a nice 3d printed version and we'll do an unboxing as we go through this and you assemble this stuff yourself. You assemble the steam engines yourself. You assemble the hit and miss engines yourself. You assemble the working four stroke V8 engines yourself. You got to check this out. It blew my mind when I saw all the cool stuff that they had and they have something for everything. So get your kids involved, right? I have so many people that come up to me through my builds and go, Brendan, how did you learn how to do this? How did you learn how to do that? How did we learn how to do this? Because when I was younger, we had to learn how to use our hands and our minds and figure things out. You had to go to a, those things called encyclopedias or you had to read. We didn't have phone access. And it was hard to figure out how they do some of these skills. Today, in, in today's modern society, we call that STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. I've taught STEM classes for kids about aviation, about automotive, uh, the automotive field and automotive repairs. But this is a way to get kids involved into pulling things apart and putting them back together. And look at this kit right just from a, a glance over all the different pieces and screws and things like that dexterity hand-eye coordination following instructions and at the end you have this really cool model that you that's motorized that we could see work and have an understanding of how that airbus flies with this engine in it so guys without further ado Get off the couch, drag the kids with you, go over to sterlingkits.com, take a look at some cool things, and while you're venturing, why don't you go ahead and play the rest of this video. Let's get started with the unboxing.
All right, guys, and there you have it. That is the assembly, if you will, of this Sterling kit. Check them out over at sterlingkit.com, or you can just simply Google the word Sterling kit. Again, so many cool things, but this is the RT900, so this is the Rolls-Royce Trent jet fan engine. Uh, again, in a 3D printed model with power, so I just showed you guys that. Um, took a couple couple hours to go through um, and assemble this thing. Most of the time was put into the screws and nuts, just getting all of those placed in there. You can actually clean this thing up if you want to by putting in a switch and a battery down in the tray. Uh, it would have been nice to see this one have that, but uh, something we can add later. And really the only couple things that I ran into during the build as far as the directions go, um, it was a little cumbersome to figure out when they're talking about specific parts exactly what it was when they call it the compressor blade or the inverted blade. You really don't know what those are if you don't know what the inside of this already is, and it's a learning process, but the pictures are really good. So as long as you can kind of follow along with the pictures, I found that that worked just fine. And really, I only needed to drill one hole out the back uh, that wasn't there for the wires. So between those couple small things, um, just like putting any model together, really cool, a lot of hands-on uh, dexterity in this project. So I really enjoyed it. I'm definitely going to look into picking up some of their other kits. Again, the hit and miss, the steam engines. Uh, the working four-stroke V8s, things like that. The V-twin engines. Again, let's 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 get ourselves, let's get the youth out there to use in our hands, nuts, bolts, putting things together. And again, going back to my history a little bit from a vocational standpoint, that's where we send all the kids that don't do well at homeschool. Right? We push them out. Those are the kids that don't learn the way other kids learn and that was myself so for me uh, I'm a hands-on learner let me dig in let me touch things like this phenomenal I love it and it's worked well for me my whole life my whole career so with that being said let me show you what's in the other box so this is also again a sterling kit all right let's pop that out let's take this uh, we'll throw that over there. We have some bubble wrap. And already assembled here is another jet fan motor assembly. So check this thing out. So if you are somebody that just likes... See which way this goes. trying to figure out where this thing sits. Looks like right there like that. Maybe. Ah, there we go. Okay. So, if you are somebody that just wants a nice, really cool static display, uh, very, very similar in design to this one, check this out. This thing, we have a power switch right there and check out how cool that is so if you're looking for something that's a really cool conversation piece here you have yourself again sterling kit 3d printed no sharp edges nothing that's going to cut you or hurt you or anything like that um just a cool conversation piece if you're a jet jet guy or maybe you're just playing crazy so there you guys have it um, do me a favor links for this stuff down in the description below uh, check them out over at sterlingkit.com uh, they always have sales and specials on going on over there so uh, lots of cool different items to check out again it's brendan this is just playing crazy. You guys are just playing crazy for always hanging out and watching. I appreciate every one of you guys. Like, share, subscribe, all that cool shameless plug stuff. Hit that thumbs up. It helps us out a lot. If you're going to hit that thumbs down, do that baby twice for me. Um, so with that being said, don't forget to check us out on the official Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok Just Playing Crazy pages. 
as well as if you look down below, you may find um, some really cool information for Sterling kits that may save you a couple bucks. So with that being said, uh, don't forget Sterling is across all those platforms as well. So that means Facebook, Instagram, TikTok as well. Um, you will find all kinds of cool stuff. Their Facebook group is super cool. They share all kinds of different builds on there from all different kinds of people. So um, super cool. Glad I can share this with you guys. Glad I can help encourage the youth. Again, they call it STEM in today's world. Back in uh, our days, it was nuts and bolts. Rip it apart, figure out how it worked, and let's get it back together, learning the hard way. Um, but it helped us out throughout our whole lives. So with that being said, um, for you guys, I wish all of you happy flights. Peace out.